As our nation's consumption of metals and minerals continues to rise, the mining and milling industries, in an effort to meet this rising need, continue their drive for greater productivity. But as often happens in rapid industrial progress, a big advance in one direction sometimes results in a bigger setback in another. In the case of materials handling and hauling in surface mines, production is increased with the introduction of larger capacity front-end loaders and trucks. But at the same time, the number of operator-incurred accidents is also increased. In an emergency, most operators will tend to act instinctively and reflexively. And if they had previously operated another model with different controls, they are very likely to find themselves confused and in trouble when trying to operate a new or different machine. Therefore, it is important that front-end loaders be operated only by persons competently trained and authorized to handle the particular model being used. It is also important that machines be used for the purpose for which they were designed. Unauthorized use and misuse of the front-end loader has accounted for an alarming number of fatalities. For instance, using a dipper or bucket as a work stage or platform is not a safe practice. Still another recurring and hazardous example of equipment misuse is the unsafe practice of riding in the bucket of a front-end loader. How about a ride in the shop? Sure, hop in. The law and good common sense tell us that men should not ride in buckets or haulage truck beds for the purpose of transportation. Using the loader as a means of transporting men is usually asking for trouble. Recently, a front-end loader operator at an open-pit sand and gravel mine was involved in an accident that could only be classified as a case of dangerous work practice. The front-end loader's job was to load sand and gravel into trucks for haulage to the construction site. Loading a haulage truck, the loader operator moved his machine toward the high wall, where sand and gravel was mined from a single 35 to 40 foot high bench. Either a bulldozer pushed the material down from the wall, or it was allowed to cave naturally. The loose and unconsolidated high wall was not sloped to the proper safe angle or repose, and therefore was dangerous. Company safety rules specify that the high banks be pushed down from above with a bulldozer and that material was not to be mined directly from the high wall with a front end loader. Federal regulations also state that men shall not work near or under dangerous banks. The 
operator knew the company's safety rule against using the front end loader for mining the high wall. Unsafe, dangerous work practices waste time, damage equipment, and above all, risk human lives. Past investigations have pointed up the necessity for rollover protection and seat belts. But most significantly, they have emphasized the critical, growing, industry-wide need for all mine and mill operators to establish a definite, effective, continually functioning safety training program for their company, and to make every effort to prevent accidents by having their employees actively participate in the program. Additional safety factors to consider are make a thorough pre-operational check of your machine, first with the engine turned off and the bucket lowered to the ground, then start the engine and check the braking system according to manufacturer's specifications. Be sure to check the brakes again before traveling on grades. During operation, wear your safety belt. This is essential in the event of a collision and can save your life if the machine turns over. Chances of surviving a rollover are greatly increased if you remain properly secured in the cab and don't attempt to jump out. Well-constructed berms or guardrails along the hallway may help keep your machine on the road and prevent you from going over an embankment. Much of our mining industry is dependent on the front-end loader. Therefore, if accidents are to be prevented, proper safety training and instruction of the operators is of utmost importance.